Good morning, bitch. Yes, good, good girlfriends. It's your Judy on duty, Lonnie B, bitch. And you're listening to WGBR, Good Morning Bitch Radio. So hit me your ear when you want to hear the good shit. Good morning. Feels good. Good morning, bitch, and welcome to the morning tea with Lonnie B. Yes! Oh, it's a beautiful day in Zumbo, and I am excited, and I'm up, okay? Like two big nipples that's been touched by ice. <laughs> a bitch is here! Yes! I am so excited. <laughs> and alongside me, I got half a cup, okay? I got half a cup of the teapot. Now, the other bitch is on the way. Now, y'all know what she do at night? Okay, she swing on the poles like a monkey. Okay, <laughs> and sometimes she got too much baby all on her head, she falls and hurt herself, and she has to soak. Okay, like Daniel's son. But the rest of the tea party is here, and she's on the way. Okay, so let me introduce the tea party today. Yes, Man, <laughs> we have Tony T in the building. Good morning. What did damn do? Huh? Yes. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> Ignore that guy right there with the purple shirt giving you Barney. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we have the ridiculous Lord in the building. Drum roll, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 well, so every day, I'm not every day, but every time you go back to work, they make you shave your face? No, no, no. I just, uh, well, usually I try when I had the time to get a, a fresh shape up before the show. Okay. Yeah, but when I'm at work, now. Nah. Oh, uh, okay. It used to be that way. But right. they, yeah, they had a lawsuit, so they don't make you really shave your face no more. Yeah, because somebody with a big beard on and well, shit put that mask on and shit, yeah. it suffocates. No, nah, the air leak out. So oh. yeah, they had a lawsuit from some Muslims or something like that, and they won. So they can't really pressure you. But you know what you look like this morning? A Audi. <laughs> you look like an Audi, not a car. Uh, an Audi. Uh, a navel that pokes out. A navel. And you look like the face on a lemon head bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas petty this morning, man. <laughs> okay, one more thing. You look like a zit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, so we are here. So, I just want to get into something real quick that's not in my cup, but I want to share it with you because I heard it on the way here to the radio show. Kendrick Lamar, okay? I don't know if y'all heard this story, but he posted up on Instagram a car that he bought for his little sister. Mm -hmm. And the car was a Camry, a that Toyota Camry. What I got. And everybody underneath of his post start saying, why the fuck you gonna give her a Camry? Why you ain't give her a Bentley, a Benz? So they start criticizing him because he bought his little sister who graduated right. a Camry. Right. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, hold the fuck up. Why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? Then you had some people like me who was like, who gives a fuck? It's a car. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a car. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not wrapped up into the flashiness. Right. Yeah. And Kendrick Lamar is not one of those rappers. Why would you he put even got a regular house. Right. Yeah, why would you put your sister under the gun? Anything can happen to her for her car or anything. Right. I think he was smart. This world is fucked up. Social media He bought a regular up. house, like you said. They yeah. got him for that because he bought a small ass house. But not only this that. This world is fucked up. People don't realize those entertainers really don't own those big, huge houses and them big luxury cars. That's why they get kicked out. They're renting and they're leasing. Like, they're leasing them cars and they're renting out them houses. Them mm -hmm. MTV crib shows, them not their houses. Right. So mm -hmm. people caught up in that shit. Just so they can go out and spend their money like that, man. Man, pick up the Kendra, man. Yeah. That was a humble, hum, humble choice, though. Yeah. But on top of that, that also shows that he's not about that flashiness. You know what I'm saying? Right. And sometimes you don't want to give people that. You want people to work for certain shit. 
You know what I'm saying? If she wanted a Bentley, let her ass work for a Bentley to get one. Amen. You know what I'm saying? But the sister is appreciative of the gift that he bought her. She was I happy. just thought that was wild. She was happy. People are crazy, man. This social media shit is crazy. First of all, how can you tell a man what to do, to do with that money? money? Yeah. How can you be so worried about something that ain't got nothing If you notice, with you? your favorite rappers and singers right now are bankrupt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No question. For real. Just because trying to keep up with other people's expectations. Yeah. I think she posted or he posted, but whatever it is, the story is out there. You know, but I, that's crazy. That's just fucked up and crazy to me. Okay, so let's get into the good shit, okay? Now let's get into my D, okay? Yes, okay. Dirk Fisher. Y'all know him, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yes, he was arrested. Yes, okay, for DUI after turning over his car on a California highway. Damn. Yes, flipped over like a stunt man, bitch. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. flipped over. Drunk. You know what I'm saying? Drunk. The crash was a little after 3 a.m., okay, on the westbound freeway, approaching the 405 freeway interchange. Okay, Fisher was 42, was driving a 2015 Cadillac, okay, on the California Highway. Yes, mm. and she was drunk, just like this bitch. Good morning. Yes, I was drunk. I'm sorry. That's where I'm at. Hangover. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> but you came in here like a secretary with no bra or trying to seduce the boss. Say Lord. <laughs> Jackson. Nipples. Bitch, your Good nipples morning. is poking at us like eyeballs, bitch. <laughs> your nipples is poking at us like eyeballs. Good morning. Run. Run. <laughs> yes. So that's what happened to him. So, you know, he got in trouble and shit, you know. And, you know, so he'll be okay. But anyway, Lionel Richie's bass player, okay? His bass player, okay? Stab himself repeatedly after eating edibles. Wow. That Bullshit. Shit like to eat. Bullshit. That shit that wasn't, like that wasn't weed edibles. Yeah, it had to be something else. That. Yeah, it, 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 it might was opium <laughs> edibles. It's different. It's different Everybody can't handle though. the weed. weed yes. Yes. You know, it's different levels Bruh. to read. Why he the only person that can have it yet? It's loud. That nigga was on the cocaine. Like man, that nigga was on the powder. Yeah. That nigga was on the powder, man. K2 yeah. edibles or something. Okay, so get this. K2 edibles. So he was at his party. I mean, he was at a party at his house. He's 42 years old. He was at his party, okay, at his house. They was chowing down, bitch, eating edibles. <laughs> like Pac-Man. They was eating them like Pac-Man. So they was <laughs> over there. They was having a good time. Then all of a sudden, he freaked out and started turning violent. What the fuck y'all looking at? <laughs> it starts sticking itself in the knees, bitch. No. Okay? For real. So you now know? he can't walk. Like that Mexican did. You know, that was on the motherfucker. What's that movie? Um, Was it Low Down Dirty Shade? No, it wasn't Low Down Dirty Shade. What was that movie? That that Mexican was telling you on me, Shane? Oh, oh, that's Shane. Oh, yeah, 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 Shane. Yeah, like yeah. that Mexican stabbing itself <laughs> and shit. Okay? For real. So, anyway, they took him to the hospital, okay, on Friday night. Nobody knows his condition. Okay, but I can tell you a suggestion. K2. Keep up. K2 Fuck. edibles, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so get this. I got some more tea, bitch. I got some more tea for y'all. So get this. K. Michelle. Went on Twitter and went the fuck off. Yes, bitch. Yeah, you know I'm, she I'm loves to go on Twitter. You know she I'm loves to go on Twitter, but guess what she went off for? K. Michelle went off on Twitter. She said her song was blocked and taken off her album because of Nicki Minaj. Wow. She had a song with Meek Mills, and Nikki thought that she was fucking Meek. So Meek, Nikki said, Y'all can't do this song. But why didn't she mess with where it was close? <laughs> How much power do this bitch got? Yes, Nikki. I mean, nah, because that's what though. That might have happened <laughs> when they was know, in a relationship. This is though. the sec yeah, just when they was in a relationship. And K Michelle is just starting to talk about it. Right. Because she said the song meant so much to her. The name of the song was Anybody Wanna Buy a Heart. Damn. Now. That was a song that Meek bought to K, and they were supposed to do it together. They recorded and everything. Nikki said, nah, fuck that. You're not doing that with that big butt, bitch. So drop it now. Her shot's bigger than mine. No, she can't. Because mm -hmm. Nikki took the song and put it on her album. Work. Bitch, now that's power. Yes. Well, Nikki, Nikki got a song on her album, and it's called Bow Heart. And it's her and Meek Mills. Oh, that's fucked up. That is fucked up. This industry, this industry. Yes. This industry, this industry. Yes. Yes. This industry, this industry. industry. We don't know oh. nothing about that. Yes, that's fucked up. Damn. This industry. Nikki is really Good luck to you rappers out there. Bitches will stop you and your songs. Yes. Yeah. For real. Nikki and use them themselves. Like she shouldn't be like that. If she's really doing she, this. She shouldn't be like, but I'm this starting to think. about the third time? Yeah, I'm starting to think that it's true, true. because different people are saying and this is how she acts. 
Dang. You know, Remy Ma said that she tried to stop her babe. Uh huh. Saying if Remy gonna be at that award show, I'm not coming. Mm -hmm. And her old boyfriend. Yeah, and her old boyfriend Safari. Yeah. Yeah. Too, yeah. They said that's how she operates. Dang. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. McKay Michelle, you know she saves her shit. Yes, okay. She does. So Keisha Coates, she also went on Twitter. And she got to talking her shit. I need to get the fuck on Twitter. <laughs> Keisha goes with on Twitter, okay? And she says that she is afraid of losing her mother, Frankie, to the streets. And Frankie don't give a fuck. She don't. Okay? Now, this is what Keisha did. She tweeted. She said, tweet from Keisha. I got him. She said, I told my mother the other day I was afraid to losing her because she keeps going back and forth to the streets. You know what she said in return? Everybody wait for her to tweet the next one to see what she said in return. Then she finally tweeted and Keisha said, she said, you'll be all right. Damn. Bitch, just like that. Frankie bitch. a trap god, though. Did she, you knew that on the show, though. Frankie said, bitch, Frankie you'll be all right. Frankie is a trap mom, though. Yes. Mm. That's, That's fucked up. Shit. But yes. you knew that on the show, though. Now, y'all know Frankie That's been dealing like with right. substance abuse, okay? She nearly almost ended her life. You know, Keisha said she don't know what she would do if she lose her mother. She said no amount of money in the world would secure her heart for losing her mother. She got to stop preparing her heart because she already gone. Yeah, her no mother way. her mother was Frankie reckless in the show, bro. You know what? You fucked up, bro. Say it again. Say hey, it again. What Keisha need to do is get the fuck off Twitter and pray. So her Prayer mother was fucked up on the show, pray though, to the world. Prayer, like, prayer, prayer changes things, bro. Prayer changes things. Keisha need to get the fuck off Twitter and get on her knees. And not to suck dick, but to pray. Prayer ain't going to change the way her mother thinks. That's true. Yes, the Lord came. Pray My mother didn't Lord care on will. TV, bro. Okay. That's crazy. Good luck to Fra Frankie. I'm going to be praying for her. But yes. get this. I'm not. Beyonce. I know you don't have a heart, oh. okay? Or a woman. Here we go. <laughs> Beyonce. She shut down the fan site. You know why? Because they were selling her merchandise with her name on it, bitch. Damn. Wow. Without her permission. Y'all say kind of patty, bitch. You got all that money. Can <laughs> no. they make a couple of dollars? <laughs> so listen. So Man, listen. Them people ain't taking out her pockets. Get that's what I'm saying. But no, listen. The site been around for a year. And they been selling shit with Beyonce name on it. So Beyonce and her team caught with them. And they like, oh, fuck that. That's coming down. We need all our money. Right. We Shut need up, all ours. Okay? So you know her name is a business. Right. So they said, we need all our money. Yes. So anyway, they was giving no that shit coming down. Okay? So apparently, they've been selling shit on the site using Beyonce name. Get this. The person who set up the site is 15 years old. What? Wow. Yeah. Thank you. So once she had so the person, the person who set up the site with on Twitter said, Beyonce, I'm sorry. Please don't sue. Yes, please don't. So they Hi. said Beyonce is not going to sue That's good. as long as they just follow the demands. They want them to take down everything and they want them to destroy everything that they made. Won't she just hire the little child? Do something to help the child out? She Maybe ain't she do nothing but help your somebody. brand though. But the little girl ain't do nothing but help your brand regardless of how you look she at it. She ain't help her brand. I she know did. The girl can't do shit to help Beyonce. I mean, she has listen to what I'm saying. She, 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 but, but listen to what I'm saying. She helped people that wanted to wear Beyonce name or merchandise get it at a better price. Nah, that so ain't she helping helped Beyonce. Brand. That's not helping Beyonce. Beyonce they don't need that shit. Yeah, she probably already got a team in place for that. Man, probably. They had that little girl. That was some smart shit from a 15-year-old. From a 15-year-old, yeah. From a 15-year-old. Yeah, from a 15-year-old that, 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 yeah, that was smart, that but was it smart. also is a thief. That's yeah. a thief. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thief. That's a thief. That's a thief. No, yes. it was smart, but it was a thief. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay? <laughs> Get this. What's her name? Trump's wife? Malone, 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 oh. Malone. You didn't say Ivana. That's your president. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> What's her name again? Melinda, Melanda, Aldo. Melanda. The mute bitch. The mute bitch. Okay. <laughs> the first mute bitch. Okay. Yeah, slap hands. Right. Okay. So reportedly, she has been having an affair with the head security at the White House. Oh shit. What? <laughs> yes. At the White House too? I thought yes. it was at the motherfucking oh, Tiffany right? shop. Yes. Uh-huh. And they've been having sex and meeting up, no, by the Tiffany shop near the Trump Towers for years. And yeah. I can see her fucking in there. Yes. Head. So according to a writer and a playwright, Monica Bryan, she said that the the mute bitch, the mute first lady, is stuck in her merge to Donald Trump. 
She said the only reason why she's stuck in the merge is because he, he won. won president. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He said, she said if he wouldn't have won president, she would have been divorced him. Oh, yeah, I bet. But you can tell it's an uncomfortable si situation by their whole actions. Yeah, of course. They don't hold hands. He ain't open doors for this bitch. He just no, no he's been trying lately, but she's been paying That's him. because his cat yeah. has been telling him to do it because it, it's a good look. It looks ugly. Yeah, yeah, it looks. She's like fucking the head security. Yeah. Now get this. Hands. Okay. Now, you know, this story hurts me to my heart to report it. It really does hurt me to my heart to report this. You know, I really don't like talking about this stuff. Can I be honest and live in my truth? Yeah. I don't like talking about celebrity business and shit because I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> and this story really hurts me, but I can't be by. Well, I want to know who is this about. Little yeah. Kim. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Little Kim. Oh, my God. My New God. Jersey mansion that is, is in foreclosure. Damn. Damn, Kim. For how long, though? Little Kim have not paid her rent since 2009. Damn. Bro. Nine? Yes. Hold on, bitch. Two. Rent free. Yes. She haven't paid her rent since 2009. So you telling me I don't have to pay my motherfucking rent that long and they ain't going to come get me? They ain't going to come get me? It's a long time to live for free. Bitch. You can stack like a motherfucker. I'm just saying. I do what I got to do to pay my rent, Okay. But I run from T AT and T. I'm running. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But the rent, I'll be nervous. Yeah. Just imagine the marshals knocking on your door. Do, 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 do. Who is it? UPS. You open it. The marshals, bitch. Get out. Step on out. No, step on out, and everything coming out behind you. They don't yes. let you go back to get none. You gotta step your ass out. Yeah. Right then and there. So a New out. Jersey judge have ordered Little Kim House in foreclosure after she stopped communicating with the bank in regards a lawsuit against her. Okay, the bank sued the rapper in 2010. Okay, after it claimed she stopped paying nearly ten thousand dollars a month for her mansion. Mm. Little Kim said, "Okay, hundred and twenty thousand okay. a year." Can you hear me now? She said, "Okay." Ooh, what? What? <laughs> she said, "I'm willing to do a payment plan." They said, "Okay." They willing to give her a chance. And she still didn't pay. Damn. That was the plan, that's bitch. That never paid. That was the plan, bitch. She got away with eight years. And that's one hundred and twenty thousand a year, eight though. Yeah, that yeah, bro. That's Go why ahead. Kendrick bought his sister Toyota Cam. <laughs> Facts. Because it's yo, that shit is real. Oh man. my when, god. When they get evicted and shit end. too. Now, look, Kim up here rapping about the bag. Do you really got it? No, yes. Jesse, for real. Does she really got that bag? She oh, had shit, it. It's rent. <laughs> that shit is rent. I, I just said it. She, she had it. it. She had she it. Got, she got all them Chanel money. bags and all them shoes and Giuseppe's, bitch. Where's the rent money? They living in the past, man. All you got to do is sell one of them Chanel joints. Right? That's crazy. <laughs> she sell two of them. She got that is crazy. Yep. Hello? Okay, well, that's my tea. Okay, now let's move on to yours, yes, Tony T. Give it to us. Mm. Let's get it. Short and brief. At least two dead after man plows into <laughs> pedestrians at London Bridge. Multiple other incidents reported. At least two people are dead and another four injured in London after a van plowed into pedestrians on a busy London Bridge on Saturday night. British Prime Minister Theresa May called the events potential acts of terrorism. More than a dozen people were run over by a delivery van on the London Bridge. Meanwhile, reports of stabbings, shots fired at Burroughs Market. Police were also investigating the incident in the Vauxhall area about a 15 minute drive or 40 minute walk from the Burroughs Market. Armed officers responded to three scenes. Police reported multiple fatalities on the south side of the London Bridge. A van came through the London Bridge itself, went between the traffic light system and rammed towards the steps. It knocked loads of people down Three men got out with long blades, 12 inch long, and went randomly along Borough Street, swiping and stabbing people. Did y'all wow. see the story? No. That's what happened over in London. Yeah, I seen that. Attack. And they saying, um, basically, um, they think it's ISIS. Right. I don't think it's ISIS. Though. They just keep having they terrorist attacks up. over there. ISIS ain't slicing They people, keep man. having terrorist attacks over there, and everybody's so pressed to go to London, London Paris. Paris. Getting married and shit. Is it really love over there, bitch? No, bitch. But back I, in the day when we went, I was staying by Giada. I was this shot living Paris right there. I got all the spaghetti I need. Yes, okay. In school, it was fun though. That was shit. like something great. Oh, I mean, oh, I went. Oh. Yeah, it was. Fun. And came right back. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your tea, Rob. The ridiculous Rob. Yep. Teen accidentally kills girlfriend with gun. He received that as a graduation gift. So an eighteen-year-old Brennan. Field. First of all, stop. Okay. 
Who the fuck gives somebody a gun as a graduation gift? Great question. But when you find out who it was from, it's even more tripped out. All right, go ahead. So the uh, 18-year-old Brendan Fields accidentally shot his girlfriend in Arlington, Texas. So to sum up the story, the girl's father gave him the gun for a, uh, a graduation present. Okay. And they were good. Well, they were they were hunters, so they okay. were good with guns anyway. So but apparently not that him. good. Okay. <laughs> so this fool that had a safety on shot his damn girlfriend, accidentally killed her. Damn. Yeah. What he, kind of gun was it? Shotgun. Uh, it, nah, it wasn't a shotgun. If it ain't had no safety, yeah, on it. he no was pointing it at her and shit. Uh, you don't play with that shit. Yeah. Well, he was playing with the gun, which you shouldn't do, and it shit went off. I don't even be around people that play with guns. Don't pick it up. Show me. Don't take the clip out. Like, certain shit, why are you doing it? Mm -mm. I agree. Mm -mm -mm. I agree. Give us your team, Miami. Okay, so this is some nasty shit. I always get the, the nasty, nasty shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> so a nasty. So no listen, man unleashed 100 bad bugs in Augusta City Hall. <laughs> that nigga funny as shit. Where did he get him from, bro? I don't know. That's the fucking house. question. With Candy Lady Pizza's house. So listen, they said basically he went he went to Augusta Hall and he asked for a form to request for aid. When he was denied, he pulled out the fucking bed bugs and boom! Everybody <laughs> need help now. Everything went everywhere. Everybody need help now, motherfuckers. Bugs everywhere. Everybody, Everybody bit. Everybody was in that motherfucker doing the twist. Everybody yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god That's trifling this shit But they said that in Maine That it is a bed bug Like it's it's really really big up there Like that's a Bed bugs Yeah mm. bed bugs So Ooh, they catch them go So the they was They catch them and use the best weapons yeah. They catch them and use Yes they really catch them And use the best fucking weapons So they had a disturb I mean a exterminator come out And you know Get uh, rid of secu them. Secure the building But for the time being The um manager Who he let the bed bugs out on Was using Windex bitch <laughs> That it was, it was quite the best. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Them dogs were shiny and shit. These motherfuckers won't get on me. <laughs> <laughs> but catch this. The police have him and don't know what to charge him with. No bullshit. They don't know what to charge him with. Ah, oh, it's not if a charge. A if it's a crime, they don't know if it's a crime or not. Deadly weapon. Dead shit. Okay. <laughs> Assault with a bed bug. That I know what to talk to bitch with. Yeah, you can. Damn, <laughs> bitches were scratching their mask. I tipped their mask with bed bugs. I tipped their mask. They were scratching their mask to death. <laughs> <laughs> Pit bulls. <laughs> yeah. Okay, today is Tell the Truth Tuesday. And it's on you, Tony T. Yes, here we go. Tony, tell the truth and nothing but the truth. So help you go. Yes. Tony, have you ever had sex with a woman with bad smelling feet and still proceeded? Nah. Okay. Nah. So all your women Nah this is my thing though I'm not a feet man So I ain't really get bad I'm sober after you come from the go-go One day at the club Bitches in there beating their feet Popping their ass right. You take them home real quick You try to hit or whatever <laughs> They take their shoes off You Bruh, mean it's no it's odor I like It's no females. odor When we go to club You gotta wear heels So you know what I'm I like females In the go-go yeah, they, they don't wear heels, heels in the go-go in DC Yes they, they do, do. Oh, they, oh I don't know yes, I, don't, I haven't do. been in a while Probably asses Familiar faces If you go out with me You gotta wear heels that's no, if anything back, y'all, I would say they would wear. Yeah, they wear heels, though. Timberlands and socks. Oh! <laughs> Timberlands and socks. It Uggs. depends, Uggs on, where, it depends on what day you go. I agree. It depends on the location. Yeah, yeah, location. yeah but I'm not yeah. a big person, so I don't need to know. They're going to wear some right. Ron, okay? Here's your question, Ron. Ron, since you always have so much to say about women, Ooh. what's your relationship with your mother? With my mother? Yeah. Uh, she's my mother. I mean, I love my mother, but I mean, we have a uh, cordial relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is what it is. Nothing too special. Mm -hmm. But it's respectful. Yeah. It's respectful. That's my mother. I'm always gonna love my mother. That's right. Good, Lordy. Okay, <laughs> this is a tough question. I, I, I'm starting to think people are coming down on me. <laughs> Lordy, do you believe you're going to hell? Damn. <laughs> What the fuck? Lonnie, who writes this? Man, what the? Uh, I'm finally thinking. People are coming down on me. <laughs> yes. Well, to answer your question, okay, for you motherfuckers that wrote this sitting in hell, bitch. <laughs> to answer your question, I don't believe God bless no mess. I think my life is a blessing. And I think everybody at the table life is a blessing regardless of our flaws. I think we have been looked over by guardian angels. And I think we have been stirred in a direction, but we're going to learn along the way. Facts. I agree. Mo, you I always make it sound so sweet, bro. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Yes. 
Man! Here we go! And yes! <laughs> when do you plan to stop being an exotic dancer? Hmm, that's a good question. There's no time limit on it. <laughs> Shake your ass at 50, bitch! <laughs> There's really no time limit on it, but I am. It's the See, the thing is that you can go to work, literally, you know what I mean? I can go to work. I can have one person hit me up and be like, my, we in town, we about to come through. I can go to work for an hour, probably make two, three thousand dollars. Nice. What other job without, you know, degrees? Right. That you can go make three thousand dollars in a fucking hour. Yeah. Without selling a pussy. Oh my God, where's the music? Okay. Where's the music? So, that's <laughs> where I'm at with it. So I am, don't get me wrong, I am like, and like I said, dancing is like my, my wife. So sometimes your side bitch, if it, and it's winning right now, you know you you tend to you know move over to your side bitch. So my next move, which is what I'm working on, you know what I mean that's what I'm trying to right. be able to you know make as much money right. and not necessarily just about the money. It's about being happy, right? But also maintaining the lifestyle that I want to live in life, right? You know what I mean when it, when I stop dancing and I have to go back as well. You know what I mean? You so I might slow down. Yeah, that most definitely. Most right. definitely. Good question. Yes, and good answer. Yes, okay? So that was our Tell the Truth Tuesday. Now, you two have something to say, mm. okay? Mm -hmm. The comments, okay? They have something to say. So let's listen to them, okay? Miss Williams, I'll call you by your last name, bitch, if I can't pronounce you first, okay? <laughs> and if I can't pronounce shit, I'll say, you there, okay? Miss <laughs> Williams wrote three days ago, y'all never let Tony talk. Y'all keep cutting him off. Is that a true fact? No. No, no for real. No, that that's how Miss Williams feels. No, that, that's how Miss Williams feels. No, but look, that's not true, though, because a lot of people say they can't hear me when I talk, and then some people say they can hear me. So sometimes I be feeling like the people be want, want me to speak up, but I be talking loud. I don't know why they can't hear me, but they can hear everybody else. Right. Because well, I'm from, allowed to From shit. Lonnie's uh, live feed, it's hard to hit us if he don't have a camera pointed at us. Because it switches mics when it when yeah, turns right. Camera. So mm -hmm. that could be it, too. Yeah, but no, I, I don't I don't feel like I get cut off. I feel like we all equally talk. You know what I'm saying? Right. So my bad if anybody yeah. feel that way. No, you, you don't apologize. You don't apologize. Oh, yeah, and y'all don't hit a microphone because this don't go to Facebook Live. Right. A lot of people mm -hmm. be saying, Let's turn my mic up. This doesn't go to Facebook Live. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Nappy Banji, three days ago. Love you guys. Ron, please. Not in that order. Okay. It's God first, then your spouse, then your kids. It's in the Bible. Look it up. Love you, Ron. You talking about the Bible that's man written, ma'am? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, Ron? The Bible, which is man written. Okay, now we're going to leave that alone. Moving on, okay? <laughs> I ain't okay. trying to get stuck by lightning on a sunny day. No, nah, I ain't trying to hit his prophet. Wrong. I ain't trying to hit no bald head prophet, okay? <laughs> Seriously, here we go. SDC1163 wrote this three days ago. Bitch, I don't know if you're an inmate, okay? <laughs> but I wrote this three days ago, okay? I love you guys. Miami and Rom would be good together. Wow. Ooh. But he's not ready though. <laughs> Laugh out loud. <laughs> hey, oh! I know you're looking at her now because the nipples, bitch. Oh. And you don't got no bra. And you got the glasses on. Hey, and you got the glasses on. They can't see you, huh? You looking at her now. They the can't see you. They looking at you like a bomb. Okay? Like a and they can't nipple. see him though because he got yeah. the glasses on. All right, here we go. DJ Wormley wrote this five days ago. Oh my God, Lonnie, I'm so happy you shouted me out, but I'm a woman. Laugh my ass off. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, ma'am. Okay, I'm sorry. She's a woman, DJ. Yes, okay. Jane Doe wrote this a month ago. Uh oh. Lonnie, please tell Ron he looks good and sexy Ooh. with his beard cut like that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, so she think it's Jane Doe. Yeah, she, she basically saying she like better without the bed. Yeah, Jane Doe. I think it look like an infection. <laughs> <laughs> Jane Doe. She hid herself. Uh -huh. yes, Jane, Jane Doe. Doe. Okay. okay. Here we go. Um, I am Sadiddy said, Lonnie, I want to send Miami a gift. Okay. She gives me life. Where can I send it? Oh, let me get my P.O. box number right on out. <laughs> 
You laughing and shit. They did fuck No, I'm dead fucking fuck fuck serious too. I accept gifts. When is it? Oh, give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I just opened up a PO box. That's oh, what I'm talking about. No, man. I'm just smart. How'd you my, do that? For my LLC. Okay, which is? Lifeline, be oh. on Lifeline, B-Y-O-L-L dot See, she's working on her business on the I'm side. On I'm going to sense that there, too. Okay, let me no keep point. going. Here we go. Please send shit. Yes, here we go. <laughs> Shanika Wooten, okay? Right, she wrote this one month ago. Why are Ron and Tony so ignorant? <laughs> God damn. They first they told me, first they told me you got to step up and be yourself, and now we ignorant. <laughs> Oh, I did, I did, I did, we right, speak our mind. That's all. I mean, it's we all say stuff that other people not gonna agree with. I mean, that's just our opinion and the way we think. Mm -hmm. That's all. Well, she think you're ignorant. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> ignorant game. Okay, here's Serena Cook. She wrote this one month ago. Lonnie, I really love your show. I might not catch it when you go on live, but I catch it when I can, and I look at them. Good inspirations. Thank you for keeping it real. You're welcome. Yes. yes. Now we're moving on to today's topic. Now, today we're going to do something different. We're going to call this segment the experts, okay? All right. Now, everybody is going to give, get a title of what you're an expert in, okay? So, there's questions underneath of your expertise. And you tell us how you handle it as the expert. Uh -huh. Now, we are the audience listening to the expert. And if it's shit that the experts say <laughs> that we don't like nor agree with, the audience speaks. All right. right. Okay? Facts. So, let me give you the experts in the building. <laughs> we have Ron, the ridiculous Ron. All right. And he's the expert of men. Okay? We have Tony T. Okay? <laughs> he's the expert of baby mamas. Okay? <laughs> we have Miami. Oh, y'all know she's the expert of sex. Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we have Lonnie B, and he's the expert of homosexuality. <laughs> okay? So let's start with Ron as the expert of men. Ron, why are women still doing most of the housework? Why are women still doing yes. most of the housework? And men are not helping. Uh, Meaning taking out the trash. <laughs> well, that's trifling ass, man. But in the in the answer to that question, I would just say it's me personally, I just think it's traditional for a woman to take care of the house. I it's mean, tradition always right. No. Okay. Because like like for instance, I always talk about cooking, but I I always say also if you got a man that's the better cook, I think he should cook. You know? I mean some things eventually are gonna switch up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Depending on the relationship. But traditionally. Or not if he's the better or she's the better. What about just taking turns? You could do that Facts. too. Right. You could do just that doing too. it together. But right. traditionally, things have been the woman takes care of the household and, you know, the man basically provides. So. Right. Okay. Tony T, as the baby mama expert. Yes. No Why problems. is it, okay? Why is it so hard to date a guy with baby mamas? I don't have no baby mamas, so I, I yeah, friends. I it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, first of all, this this goes for both parties, though. I think it's hard because everybody got that. Uh, this for my friends, they get yeah. mad when it's their your baby, expertise. They get mad when they baby mothers got another nigga around their child. But if that nigga is the man in the in the in the life of her at that point in time or in the relationship, why y'all mad that is another nigga in the relationship? No, fuck that. Mm -mm. Child? You don't bring you know no, you, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't bring no fucking men around your children. How do you sound, man? If that's your My boyfriend, person, no. If that's your boyfriend, go ahead. How can your baby father get mad because you got a dude around your child? Eh, half if that dude the is there for six months and you got him there in the first three months, I'm the extra is right. Oh, let the, the audience speak. don't like what the let expert is saying, so the audience you ain't let the expert speak. even finish speaking, though. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But this the, and it goes with baby mothers too. You know what I'm saying? My man's yeah. that my man's in them. They got kids. They baby mother always talk about you got a bitch around my child, or that bitch taking care of my child, or that bitch picking up my son out of school. Bitch, she doing what you ain't doing. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga taking care of your son and you ain't buying him no shoes, and that nigga live in the household with your baby mother and he buying your son some shoes, why the fuck is 
is you mad? If you in jail and that nigga taking care of your child, why are you calling home mad? Those are Everybody had problems with people with kids and baby fathers because the baby father or baby mother normally not lenient to the new person being around the child. Okay, mm. now I'm going to talk because I am a baby mama and mm. I have a child. So in that state, that's fine because guess what? My baby father right now, his new little joint, she's buying Millie shoes. I told him to, I told him to keep that bitch. I want all the shit. <laughs> Ooh, but and I'm cool saying. with listen, and I'm cool with that. You know, some but it took guess what? Too. It took a year and a half for Millie Man to see, or almost two years for Millie Man to see another woman. But the, I'm not, they, they I don't, don't, I don't condone it. it. I'm sorry, I don't condone it. You just meeting someone, y'all have a good time for a month or two months. Now you want to introduce them to the child. I didn't say you that. You don't do that. The baby father no, don't be want nobody around, don't period. Do it don't matter on a time frame. A nigga get mad when there's another man around his child. Being a daddy role. I'm telling you because I don't have no kids, but all my mans got them, and that's the only thing that they be mad at. They don't give a fuck if this nigga fuck his baby mother upside down in the headstand with a birthday hat on. They don't give a fuck. It's just the fact that the nigga is around his child doing fatherly things. But I'm not going to introduce nobody to my child doing fatherly things for no two months. I didn't no, say that. No, not even for six months. I never you said that. You have to be secure. That. Cause them children gonna ask uh, questions. One of my man, baby mother, right. she engaged. Them children gonna ask she questions. Engaged. Any she man that I talk like to it, on fool. Facebook, I mean, any guy I'm on Facetime with that Millie Man have seen, Millie, Millie Man quite sure no wrong. He, and I bet you Millie Man be like, oh that's wrong. Oh that's now that he's done seen. Oh that's how my son. Remember everything. These yeah, children are not done. But this not, what I'm well, saying, though. Not dumb. One of my man's I'm not, baby I'm not mother's engaged. He's still not with it though. He's still not with it though. Yeah. She engaged. He's still not with it, bro. When are you gonna get over? No, that's bro? different. Yeah, engaged and all that understandable. And the, the real man is actually well, doing the real part. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, I don't think it's. I think it's sloppy for mm -hmm. females to be very easy on just introducing any man. Dudes too. To, no, I know dudes that drop their kid over with a yeah, little bit. Don't get me wrong. A guy be fucking a girl for for uh, like you said a month, and all of a sudden he picking up his son with the bitch, and yep. they don't even talking for. Yep. A few weeks, or a nigga right. that fucking the kid up with some wild shit because she bundled around too fast. You know yeah, that shit's crazy. Time. So why is it so hard to date a guy with baby mamas? Because the baby mamas be the drama. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Like coming up as a kid, all the females, the first thing they used to ask us was, "You got kids?" Nope. You know what I'm saying? Now they understand why the baby mama, baby fathers are normally drama. They mm. not normal. They is not no easy going with them. Off bucks in the beginning, in the end, some way they bring some type of static. Mm. They should not a co-parent. Yeah, they should. Okay, so let's go on to Miami. Now you're the expert of sex. sex. Yes. Sex. <laughs> okay, here we go. If females can only have one type of sex for the rest of their life, what do you think it would be? That's a hard question. <laughs> That's a really hard question. Adel? Oil, <laughs> 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 definitely not anal, bitch. Bring that down. <laughs> definitely not anal. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know, cause some women like to like to have their click like stimulated a lot, mm -hmm. and then others like penetration. Mm -hmm. So I would just go with the. I know I can live off of head and plan with my pussy. For the rest of your life. Yeah, like playing with my pussy. For but the getting rest fingering. of your life. Yeah, but getting fingered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the rest of your life. For the rest of my life. Clinch <laughs> <laughs> down. Like the one the real pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's the real pussy. That's the oh, real lady. Here we go. Then I am the expert on homosexuality. <laughs> this is so cliche. Okay, here we go. So, Lonnie, can a straight man be friends with a gay man? Yeah. It's all about respect. It's definitely about respect. And you got to know your boundaries. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to know your boundaries. You can never say nothing out of whack. I don't even I don't even say gay jokes to Ron. Right. Like, I don't do stuff like that. And I wouldn't say gay jokes to Tony. You know what I'm saying? You got to have respect. You know what I'm saying? Not that I think that they insecure or anything. It's just a respect. respect. It's boundaries you shouldn't cross. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, back to Ron. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Ron. Is it fair to force fatherhood on a man? Force fatherhood, meaning they already have a child? Yeah, and you forcing that man to be a father. Oh, no, a woman is forcing him to come see his child, forcing him to go to the PTA meetings. Damn. 
Damn. I think she You think it's way. fair to do that? I think it's fair, but it's fucked up though, because you got a motherfucker that really ain't no, no, on his no. job. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm a stubborn bitch. You don't want to be in my motherfucking child life? Fuck you. Yeah, that was the flip side. But yeah. at the end of the yeah, day, yeah, sir, <laughs> that child seriously. need that perm, yeah. man. Fuck that. Yeah. We don't that child need, need that perm. No, <laughs> fuck that. I don't like. I don't want no pity. I hate <laughs> mothers that say that. Wow, no, I'm dead serious. That you don't I'm dead serious. Dog. That child need his father. No, definitely. But fuck there are that. other people in there. And that, man, that shit that's, is goofy. I'm just, saying, I'm just saying, you know, because that's my situation. Yeah, nothing wrong with that's it. That's my that's, situation. That's some goofy shit. I don't need no petty. There's a lot of faggy ass kids out here because the mother was like, I got this. And now he popping his coochie and shit. Oh, oh you don't talk about it. No, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. No, I'm just you need that father figure. Yeah, bro. No, but I don't think I don't think my sexuality have anything with my father not being there. You know what I'm saying? Because there comes a time in our life where we are who we are. You know what I'm saying? No one can dictate what we're going to be when we grow up. I don't give a fuck how you raise your kids. Fact. You can put your child in football, basketball, any ath- ath- athlete, whatever you want him to be, and at the end of the day, he go to school and be a scientist. Cool. At the end of the day, we all have our paths that's designed for us. No one can instill in us how we're going to be because it's already destined of what we're going to be and what we're going to turn so you're out telling to me be. A child that grew up in a household full of females without a father figure playing with dog babies and dressing like a female, that's what he know. That's what he learned. That's what he think is cool. No, it's not necessarily. No, it's because not. It's other, it's other at the end of the day, I was playing with dog babies as a child. My little cousins was playing Every with Every guy me. I know that played with dog babies. Yeah. My little cousins played with dog babies too. We and didn't. he is a you, you never played with dog babies. You never played with dog babies. You never played with dog when I play with my little cousins, my uncles was fucking us up. If you even touched the breast, they was beating no, the shit out. Listen, my father was th- whipping see, your that's ass. Your house, that's your mm-hmm. that's your lifestyle. But what I'm saying is, I play with dog babies as a child. My cousin played with dog babies as a child when we played together. Fact. I'm who I am. He's a street nigga. He's a street nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He could be undercover. What too, I'm though. saying? No, he's not. Shut the fuck up. He's a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? I just Did think it's stereotype. I think yeah. it's stereotype when you say that people are going to be this way because they do this. No, nah, I didn't say that. What I'm saying is it does play a part. You know what I'm saying? It plays a part. I'm not saying that a, 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 a child that grew up with all females in the household and no dad got a, a higher risk of being gay. No, I don't That's believe in that. I don't I, believe I in that. that. I don't believe in that. Yeah. Do you know how many grandmothers raise boys? Yes, it's a lot of grandmothers that raise boys. Mothers, yes. Bruh, I didn't say uh, y'all singing. No, you saying if no, you grew up in the household, fast sisters, woman. fast sisters, a mother, aunt, and grandmother. That's it. Yeah, that's all okay. they do. Cheerleader, the Barbie dolls, dress up, do it. Do you know it's nine some, times out of ten that's what he growing up. He think that's, that's most households in the black community. Yeah, that is most households. You know what I'm saying? But, it's the normally day, a but what you have to understand too, something. it's a some men, man. it's some women out here that can raise little boys to be better men than some men. Facts. Cause so my, that's mother, what I'm my mother did it, but my father was around. My father just died when I was young, so my mother. But at the over. end of the day, so, what I'm saying, the presence of a man does not determine how the child is going to turn out. I'm just saying. I don't believe that. I don't the believe that. Makes I believe, I do. cool, I don't believe the that. Makes cool, I, I don't believe that. The environment makes certain things cool. I'm talking about his sexuality. No, not sexuality. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think the presence of a man determines how a child is going to turn out the, to be the, with his sexuality. The presence of a man determines. How th- he's going to be as a man, but without the presence. Of no, the presence of a man teaches a young boy or anybody responsibilities. No, yeah. it teaches. Him. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about sexuality. This, this is what I'm saying. Without that father, and I'm, I, I'm going into what you're saying. Without that father being there, all of these temptations and devils and and everything is coming his way, and his father not there to protect him from those things that he experienced in his life, meaning the 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 predators. From the gay community, because not all gay guys are bad like a lot of straight men think, but a lot of gay guys are predators. So the father not there to teach him how to watch out from that. You got predators that's women who gonna teach this after his money or whatever. Father ain't teach him how to maneuver that and what a good woman is and what right. to look for and all. So when I say the father's not there to protect him from those things, then that that child can go anywhere. He He's vulnerable, vulnerable to anything because right. that. TV in itself is teaching a lot of our young uh, to be men gay. to be gay. So if you don't have that father, and the mothers can teach them that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the mothers can teach them that as yeah, well. Yeah, but a father, explain. a son. If when you see a son and his relationship with his father, 
the mother probably doing everything. Like everything. It's such a thankless job to be a mother. But something about that father there, he get all the credit. He get like extra love. It's just natural. I just see it. I, I see it I'm in the Lord. Little, um, you know what I'm saying? Agree by, I get what you're saying. So I see it even with, with the little ones in my family. Like yeah. my sister is super mom. My uh my sister Nika is super mom. Both my sisters are great moms, by the way. But my, my and she got a son. And she do any and everything, like A through Z for my nephew. But he don't she don't he don't give her no credit. Like he'll go and make her uh his father called on Mother's Day. It's just little things like that. It's just yeah. that bond. You, yeah, you, I ain't you, taking away from moms that step up because my mother is super mom. I'm not taking I away mean, from that I mean, we talking about the fathers mm -hmm. and how to impact the, the Yeah, the, I'm just the, saying the a father is needed, bro. A father figure is needed. No, I'm not, I'm never not said a father figure is not needed because an uncle could be a father figure. Right. A brother yeah. could be a but father the figure. Is a new boyfriend could be See, a father the figure that is, you just was knocking. Y'all giving... I'm not knocking. I'm just saying I don't... I'm not... I would not... I'm just saying when I had my separation... Oh, like my separation with my baby father, the, the next guy that I dated, I didn't just go say, oh, I'm going to put him on to be a father to my fucking son. No, not at all. Because at the end of the day, my son asks questions. Who is that? What y'all doing? My son not stupid. A lot of women and do what that. I'm saying, and listen, mm -hmm. exactly, that's what I'm saying. A lot of women do. Yeah. Wait. Bitch, it's okay to wait. But, but it's the okay thing to is, wait. You know why they're doing that is the answer. Because they don't know how to where that love is. They're looking for love. No, because bitches are lazy as well, no, too. No, It's from not having a love man, from a man. A, a, a man can be in a house with this son and still not be a father. Hell yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, y'all are giving too much credit to people that even don't know how to be a father. Because right. women are forced to raise their kids because guys are not doing their job. No now let's really keep it real. Oh yeah, and let's really the keep back it back end. They need to keep so that you down. can't fault how a child is being raised by a parent by a mother who's raising the child by themselves. But she, but answer this: it's niggas that's forced to be fathers even, too. You, you won't even have a father. But no one should have to force a man to be a father if you have. It's niggas forced to be fathers right now because half of my man has got custody of their kids and their baby mothers ain't shit. And they raising their daughters well, and all good. that. Well, that's good. Well, that's good for them. But, but they don't get great. no credit. But that's great. That's, that's great. good. But they supposed to be a father. That's what they supposed to do. They got full custody of their daughters and all that. That's what they supposed to do. We ain't gonna sit and give a percentage of how many women. No, we're no. not going to do no, that. No, I mean, as far as how many women know that this man ain't good to have kids with. This man Before ain't good. Have. I'm not going to lie to you. I know someone right now who, I, to me, I was like, ain't shit. Ain't shit. He didn't want the fucking baby. He told the bitch a hundred times to have the abortion. Man, once that bitch had that baby, his whole 360 changed. Some, but that's very. But, 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 it's, but, but you never know. It might just be for right now. A child is it's forever. Yeah. A child is forever. So and why would you keep the child when that dude told you he ain't want it, and then when the child born, he still don't want it? Right he told you that he didn't want. I it. agree. Now I'm not saying wants, you put him on child support over a child that. But he why? But you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because guess what? You, it, the first time you know how to put that condom on, don't you? But this is what I'm saying. They do a more no, than the second, one third time. time you don't want to put condom on. How you got three baby fathers, Fuck three out kids, three baby fathers, and none of them want a child, but you kept the child. But you know what You know what the fucked up situation is What's crazy is that Men look to be recognized Of when they're doing right by their child Exactly Women the don't You should always step up Women do, don't do what you Yeah do. they do See, So what you say Women don't look Man, to fathers, be recognized they Come on Instagram the, the mother and the father the, the mother. Because the That's because They feel like That they have to hold that title When a nigga walk out You don't have to announce it We know who mother the father You don't no, have to come on here And knock the father Because no, you're the mother no. and the father If she have to say She's the mother and the father Then apparently He's not being the father but do the niggas come on there on Mother's Day and say, I got my child, I'm the mother and the father. Yeah, so yeah, you, do you, do do that. you do do that. You do do that. that but what That's I'm saying to you, do. what I'm saying to you, sometimes most men, not all men, most men feel obligated that they have to make an announcement that they're doing right by the child. And the reason why they feel like that they have to make an announcement by doing right by the child is because rare. in our community, it's, it's not rare. rare that they're doing right. It's no. not rare that they would do right by their child. It's rare that fathers are doing right by their child. No, it's not rare in our community that people are doing right by their kids. How yeah. many people in the hood, women, are raising kids by themselves? A lot. So that's why you have to feel obligated to say, oh, I'm doing for my child. I'm doing for my child. Because it's not rare that you do what you're supposed to do. Women don't do that. Because a man automatically think just because she carried it, she's supposed to keep it and raise it. 
Yeah, I can't speak from that predicament because I ain't never had went through that. I never even had a female. It's fucked before, up, but so at the end of the day, man, women shit. women have to take the blame for that hit though. Because I swear they be and knowing that man ain't good. When it, exactly, and that's what I said. When that child go to school, when that child go to school, bummy, who they who they gonna call? The mother. Yeah. Who they gonna talk about? Oh, she trifling. She let her she yeah. let her daughter come out here looking like that. She let her. No, no, nobody said. But that nigga popping up popping bottles at every. Friday and Sunday. It take two to create a child, though. So my man, if you went raw, you took part in that. But you had a choice to to not have that child and not go through 18, 21 years of bullshit chasing behind this nigga when you could have just made a choice and just got rid of the joint and not deal with it. I mean, some people don't want to get rid of it. That's fucked up. Yeah, that yeah. is fucked I don't I believe in that shit. That. I don't believe in it either, but, but I'm just saying the situation. Definitely, bitch, so I, I down. never even, I never but had still. none of that shit happen. I never even had to pay for an abortion. But what I'm saying is you still had a choice. You know what I'm saying? You can't go get an abortion with one nigga and then with this nigga because he who he is, you're going to keep the baby. Bitch, now you don't believe in abortions, but you got one. But see, okay, KC Rogers, I understand what you're saying. It's happening all over, not in just the hood, but I'm speaking to my experience where I'm from. I can't talk about all over. I'm only speaking where I'm from, where I see that it's happening. I only can speak from my experience, not from what I heard. Go ahead. And, and I was just saying, it's a touchy subject, but at the end of the day, if women take fucking back control of their life and start making these dudes treat them and court them like before queens. they give up that box... See, 90 days Not even just 90 days But see my thing is You 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 get what you put out You know what I'm saying If you letting a dude hit And he ain't did shit To deserve no pussy from you Then that's on you If that man treats you like shit If he's exactly. not treating you How you want to be treated Before he get the box he not gonna. You can't expect for him to treat you a certain way after he get the box. It's just facts. They be knowing the niggas don't be shit. Yeah, if, he, if he wait, like some niggas will do, if he wait a year and he doing all this for you, and he decide to curl you afterwards because he didn't got the ass, that's cool. But at the same time, you made him treat you like you want to get treated. You just took an L. We take L's, y'all take L's. Okay. But at the same time, you got to make these dudes treat you like you want to be treated, and then. He ain't gonna be able to do anything to get pussy. He gonna be like, well, shit, man. I got, I gotta step my game up. I gotta treat her to a nice dinner. I gotta come over and take a shower, have some cologne on that, smelling like motherfucker drinking fucking ass. Yeah, coming and laying right. in your bed and shit like that. Y'all determine how a man treats you because a man want that pussy at the end of the day. Right. So y'all determine all of that. But at the end of the day, I still feel like it's a two way street. Definitely. Because guys should go into meeting women not as a trick but as a treasure. I agree. And that's our time. Good morning, guys. <laughs> okay, sir. So we was in here battling at y'all support court. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And yes. I don't believe in the well, Thank y'all so, so much for tuning shit. in to the morning team with Lonnie B. I appreciate y'all so much. If no one told you they love you today, we, we love do. you. Okay? And remember to let no bitch, not one, upset you. Yes. See y'all soon. Peace.